What is up everyone? Welcome back. It's been a while. It's been a while. Trust me, I'm not going ghost mode. I promise. Always be back. But just had to, um, you know, get my shit together, f organize everything, and kind of, you know, indulge into my life and what's currently happening. Um, these are big stages in my life right now with my business and everything. So it's not, you know, it's different. It's different from how I was or how my life was a year ago or even a few months ago. And I want to talk about, um, you know, just to catch up, to keep you guys updated and a story that I, I really think it's important. So first, I want to actually say business aside I've been doing the carnivore diet and it's been 16 days. Started April 1st. Right now I'm recording this on April 16. It's been 16 days and honestly, um, just in the two weeks, the body transformation is insane. Uh, physically, I feel the best I've ever felt. Uh, mentally, it's not, um, you know, a huge factor yet. I think maybe if I would do it for longer, I do plan on doing it till May 3rd plan. I will do it till May 3rd. And um, the only thing is, is that um, you're allowed to eat cheese because it's a, it's a f animal based food. And for people who don't know the carnivore diet, this might be a long video. <laughs> for people who don't know the carnivore diet, uh, it's basically just you're allowed to eat animal based food. So that means meat, fish, eggs and cheese and it is I'm not gonna lie it is pretty bland you know I'm a, I'm a meat lover I love meat but even me I'm there like fuck I just would like some fucking fruits or vegetables you know <laughs> like I, I do miss that the carbs have been hard but like I said it's more the fruits and vegetables that I, I miss and that goes to show a lot so after May 3rd when I say that I finally did a, a month of pure carnivore diet, I think I'm going to just tweak it myself, replace the cheese. Well, like I'm going to be able to eat cheese, but just replace more cheese and just implement it more fruits. I think fruits are actually very important. I emphasize on fruits because yes, vegetables are important too, but I emphasize fruits. I think fruits are more important, especially for your brain function. Like I miss blueberries. I love blueberries. I miss blueberries. But um, for the body, already in two weeks, the body transformation, the body, I've never felt better. The mind, the energy, the energy le levels are pretty low. And the only reason it's normal because my body was used to using the energy source from carbs and sugars. But now that's out the fucking way. And now it looks for fats. And I don't eat a lot of fat because to get fat from meat, you have to eat a lot of red meat, which I do, so not bad. But if you want to eat pure, like, a lot of fat, you have there's bacon, sausages. And I'm not going to fucking, you know, indulge in, you know, pounds of bacon, sausages. I don't think that's healthy either. So, you know, the energy levels are, are pretty low. But I think the body might just take some time to get used to it. And eventually it will be back. To, it's already, I've seen it, a, a huge improvement from the first few days. You know, the first week, especially, it's like um, these cravings, especially the sugar cravings from carbs, they were intense. But now, because my body is not, it's not in my system anymore. Like, yes, when I'm out and other people are having pizza in front of me, it definitely looks good. But I don't crave it as much as the first few days or even the first week. And you, I started to see, like, how slowly... You know the the craving starting to go away and it's, and it's very good I, i'm i'm enjoying it i love it, this life this uh, lifestyle the eating um i don't plan on changing anything besides the fruit like i said or else i strongly strongly suggest people to eat a lot of meat get your protein in because that again at the end of the day especially if you're trying to get your fitness goals up I'm getting easily 200 grams of protein without even trying. It, it's insane. It's really good. I have like almost 10 eggs every day. Eat a lot of meat. It's amazing. 
Now, um, I know I've been saying this before, I, you know, drop out of school, I'm transitioning to my life situation. I've officially dropped out of school, officially. Like, it's official. I have my exams uh, this weekend that I'm not going to. And again, I hope you know, no one that in my personal life is watching this because my mom might come up to me and say, oh my God, no, you're missing your exams. No, I'm not going to my exams. I officially dropped out. I got my money. I, you know, I uh, dropped all my classes. I'm officially done. So I can say, I can say I'm officially a dropout. <laughs> and it, it, it's such a, a, it's such a weird saying. Like I feel good, but then it's like, whoa. Like I never would have, you know, my younger self would have never thought of that, to be honest. So it's it's really crazy, but it's good because, yes, my back is against the wall. And I could say that stress is involved, but it's something that I like now my life is focused on stuff that I care about and that I think is valuable. And that releases so much stress off my shoulder so there's stress but i think it's less than how it was a while back because now i'm actually yes my back's against the wall and this has to work or i gotta make some money online or else i'm fucked yes but it's like this is what i live for i enjoy it i physically mentally enjoy it so there is stress induced in, into it but i see it as a good stress so yeah i'm officially a dropout um, not everyone knows. Um, I'm only planning on telling them when the next semester starts, which is by the end of the summer, because I can't hide it anymore. This semester is going to start and I'm not going to school. People are going to be like, what the fuck? So, you know, my, uh, dad or, you know, close relatives will only find out later on. And that gives me the room this summer to try to figure it out. And at least have a backbone. So when I, you know, demonstrate the news to them, at least I have some results to back it up. Because right now I went all in with zero results. <laughs> but I don't care. I'm very happy. It's all good. Now I want to talk to you about the mentorship that I, if you previously saw my last video. Um, if you haven't, I, I really suggest you should. Like I don't promote my older videos at all but the last video is really really important for you to understand the concept that i'm about to talk about now and it's a really good video so just to sum it up i spent uh, an expensive mentorship and it, it took a lot of my liquid cash took a lot of my capital and like i was saying it would basically brought me like very close you know to uh <laughs> to um zero dollars but at the end of the day i want to talk about that situation and it's funny because thinking and remembering the situation was only a few days ago i was in this chair and i had my wallet out and i wasn't scared i had fear i was fearful and because of fear i i wasn't thinking straight and I was lost and I had emotions, you know, control me. And literally I was at a, such a, a bad point with so many emotions coming to my head. I was on my knees praying to God. I'm like, God, help me. I feel so lost. I don't know what to do. I need, I need your guidance. I need you to be here with me. I need you to take over and make the decision for me because I can I can't. I can't. I'm so scared. And after praying, again, if you believe in God or not, if you believe in manifestation, I don't know what you believe in, but at the end of the day, I'm telling you the actual story. After I prayed, I was on the floor. I'm like, fuck, I don't know what to do. Um, I'm like, I'm so stressed, whatever. And after praying, a rush, an urge came to my head. 
Could have been God. Could have been any. Could have been myself. I don't know what you like to say. I like to believe it was God. An urge came to my head, and it just said, "Snap out, Julian. Snap the fuck out of it. You're a fucking man. Get get up. Get get the fuck up." So I stood up, and I, like I'm gonna try to reenact it. Like I stood up, and I'm like, Julian, if fear was not a question. If fear was not in the equation, if you were not fearful right now, what would you do? What would be the decision? Because right now your emotions and your fear is taking over. Get rid of it. Get rid. Pretend that you're someone else. You're, you yourself are not in the equation and you're trying to give and you're just trying to give advice to someone else, someone random where you're not, you don't have any emotions attached to the situation. What would you do? Well, then I started thinking more logically. I started to think, well, look, this mentorship is really good. It looks really good. I've done my research. It looks very valuable. Also, think about it like this. Would you rather peel the band-aid slowly or just rip it off? Because at the end of the day, you're going to learn by yourself, but you're doing paid ads. So you're every time you make a mistake, you're going to pay money. And that money that it costs for the mentorship could just speed up the process because they can tell you, don't do this, it's bad. And they can save you weeks and money. Because at the end of the day, I would have probably spent the same amount of money, maybe even more, just trying to learn myself. So maybe just pay the money up front, rip the band-aid off quick, get the help you need, get the guidance you need, the advice you need, and start taking action and start walking towards your goal. And after I psyched myself up with, the, with those logical comments, I got my credit card and made the purchase. And look, after I made the purchase, it was a weird but crazy realization was, oh my gosh, I'm alive. I'm still alive. And you may, it may seem like I'm over-exaggerating, but that was the exact thought process. I'm, I'm alive. I literally just made the decision that I thought would have ended my life. I was so scared. But look, I still live in the same house. I'm still going to eat the same way. I still have the same clothes. I still have the same friends, the same family. I still i am going to do the same thing. I'm still going to wake up and read and work and w go to gym and do all the things that I would normally do with or without this action that I just did. And then it came to me. When I detached myself from the situation, I made the logical decision. And it was without a question of the doubt, the right decision. Already, I'm, I, it's been a few days in and there's so much value. And I can't wait for when I start to grasp it all and start to see results myself to tell you guys all the value that I've learned. But just right now, I've sent a product list of 10 plus products to my mentorship and he told me, Najee, those aren't good. Find new ones. And without, and that may not seem like it would have cost a lot of money. It would, it may not seem the price of what I paid for the mentorship, but it was because without that advice, without the, the honesty, the straight up honesty saying, no, that, those won't work. With my experience, those won't work. Don't test them. I wouldn't have known that. And I would have spent weeks building stores, testing those products, thousands of dollars testing all those products. Already in a few days, I've seen the decision, how much worth it was. And at the end of the day, I'm open to failure. And I think it's important. A lot of people say, if you're not open to failure, uh, you're already setting yourself self up for failure. No, it's it's a different mentality. I accept that there's a possibility that I don't make my money back with this mentorship. I accept that, and that's and because I accept that, I have no emotions attached to it. I don't feel like my back's against the wall, and I'm not scared. I don't have fear. All I know for sure is that I bought the course. It was very valuable. And it's still valuable. And that I will learn no matter what. And even if I don't learn, even if I don't make money, just the 
the act of making that jump, that decision, and taking that leap develops such a, a, a good character trait in myself. And I'm honestly very proud of myself. Because trust me, a few months ago, I would have never done that. I always let emotions and fear, especially fear is the worst one. I always let fear, fear of other people's opinions, fear of what's going to happen and just fear let control of my life. I, I lived like that for so long and I'm sure a lot of people are. But now life is different. Like I said, I feel like I'm in such an important phase in my life because not only am I learning to destroy fear in my decision-making process, I'm learning to actually take the steps. I'm learning to finally put my fucking step down. And if people say, look at me weird for what I do. If people say, oh, why aren't you coming out? Do you think I'm better than you? No, I just don't want to, period. I'm not going to indulge into, oh, I want to make them, I don't want them to make like, I don't want to make them feel like they're less. So no, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not coming out. I'm not eating what you want to eat. I'm doing what I want. I'm in my selfish phase because I need to take my step down. I need to put my foot down and fucking finally take action. It's taken me years to finally get locked in. The saying of... We always say we're going ghost mode, but there's actually a phase where you're really in ghost mode. And that's where I, I'm starting to feel it. I'm starting to finally say, you know what? Fuck these distractions. Fuck this fear. I'm going to fucking get it. I'm going to do it. And like I know, when I said that I'm accept the possibility of failure in the course, all I know for a fact, I know, I know there's a difference between I believe, I wish no, it's I know. I know I will do my best. I know I will try my hardest. And the results will just show for itself. Time will only tell. But I just know for a fact I'm going to put my fucking all into it. It was such a life-changing moment. And I really hope you should learn from that. Because if you go watch that video, the last video, I was scared. You saw it within me. I was shitting bricks. But a few days after, I, I've never felt better. Don't let fear take over yourself. Don't let fear make the decisions for you. Because it will never, ever make the right decision. You, have a, you don't have a clear mind when fear is there. Either pretend the situation is just like a game. Like you're like... When you're when you were a little kid and you used to play like pretend cops or pretend cooking, pretend it's a game you're playing, or pretend it's someone else in the situation. However method you want to choose, just detach yourself because that is when the best decision will be made. It was such a. It may not seem big. I'm telling you because you're not me. You're not in the situation. You're not attached. So you don't have any emotions attached to my situation, to my words, or to my my story. But trust me, for me, I feel it. It was such a huge moment in my life. The first time I finally actually got rid of my fear in the moment. With the help of God, I believe. He came and helped me as I've asked. I've asked God for improvement i've asked god for success he doesn't just pop it up in your life he's given me the opportunities he gave me the opportunity to get the mentorship he did he did i believe so and he also gave me the opportunity to help and get rid of the fear to make the decision to get into it it's funny how god works but god is giving you what you ask for him for he is it's not directly you don't ask for a million dollars he will plop you a million dollars but he will give you the opportunities the opportunities to develop yourself as a person to get the a million dollars and that's what the whole youtube video is about 
the whole journey, the whole playlist, the journey to 1 million. This is it. I've asked for it. And God, by step by step, is giving me the opportunities. I'm so excited. I'll keep you guys updated on what I learn. I'll try to give you my best about actual business in the next few videos, giving you what I've learned from the course and telling you guys all the things that I've learned. I just want to try to implement it myself, see if it works. So then I know for a fact the value that I give is 100% true. But if you're waiting for that value, stay tuned, like, subscribe, comment. It would mean the world. If you found this video very helpful, valuable, entertaining, motivated, motivating, any of it, drop a like, follow, share. I appreciate you watching. Please remember, take fear away from the equation. Take emotions. Detach yourself. When you do that, I'll see you at the top.